the schema for this application will require three tables or three collections. The first collection is obviously the user's collection. And this collection is pre-made with pocket base. So whenever you create a new project, you will find this table already made with these fields. The next collection that we're going to create right now, it's going to be called cards. And this collection will have the information about the cards in our application. Each card will have a title. So we will choose a plain text for this field and we will call it a title. This title would have minimum length. For example, it's five or four or even three and a maximum length of 80. You can adjust how much to limit your content. And for this field of regis pattern, we won't use any regis pattern specifically for this title. It won't be empty. So we will just uh, update this value to be true. And it also could be presentable, meaning that it shows up in the admin UI. Another field would be the content of the card. So another text field and we call it content. We give it the non-empty, we give it a minimum width of maybe 10 and a maximum width 255. For the regress pattern, we won't use any and we will make this not presentable as it will be a, sometimes lots of content. You can also make it 280 to match, for example, Twitter limit, I, I think it's 280. All right, so the next field would be a relation field that relates each card to a user. So each card should have a user that has created this card. We need a relational field. To do that, we select a relational field. We can name it, for example, user, and we obviously select the collection of users. This should be also non-empty and it should be cascade because we want to delete all the cards if the user is deleted. Now you could leave it at false if you don't want that to be the case. And uh, lastly, we're going to create some indexes that helps us get all the cards for each user. So we're going to create an index on user. For the API rules, we're going to open up the list rule and the view rule. And then we're going to modify the create rule to be only for authenticated users. Meaning we're going to check the request.auth.id that mustn't be an empty string. For our update rule, we're going to check the request.auth.id that should match the request.auth.user or request.data.user. So we will check if the requested data has a user field, the same ID of the requested of the authenticated user. And we will do the same for the delete rule, meaning only the person who created the card could update the card and only the person who created the card could delete the card. The next collection would be the collection of likes. And this collection is there to identify how many likes and which person is made the like for each card. Now the collection should have a user relation field. Each like is created by a user and it should be also non-empty and it should be deleted when the user is deleted. And another field would be a, another relational field called a card field. So each like should be related to a card and we would select the cards collection. Then we make it non-empty and we also uh, update the cascade rule to be true. So whenever a card is deleted, the likes of this card would be also deleted. We're going to create a unique constraints and indexes about that. So the likes of that user, we could also get that by this rule. And we could also get the likes of that card by this rule. For the API rules, we would leave the list and view for everyone, but the create rule must be, you must be authenticated to like a post. So we would go ahead and check the request.auth.id and we make sure it doesn't it doesn't equal an empty string since we're not going to update the likes. So we're just going to leave this as admins only. But for the delete rule, we're going to set it to request.auth.id should be equal to the request data of user. And we hit create. Now we have our collections ready. We're going to go ahead and create the routing of our application.